Good morning, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I received this in the mail today, it's a Defender. This was from Toxic Matrix. While he was filming a video, uh, one of his last two or three videos, uh, the gun was working great and then all of a sudden there was loud noise, everything stopped working. He pulled the barrel and the barrel looked just like this. There was a cartridge in it. Now it doesn't take a lot to push a cartridge out of this. I mean, you can kind of do it with your finger. It's not a lot of pressure. So that there was a cartridge in there, or a uh, pellet in this case, a, a shotgun uh, round, uh, no air could have hit it. That meant you had an absolute stop of air, which I believe meant the cartridge failed. However, uh, it also damaged the gun. So what we're gonna do here is get into the gun and get into the cartridge and uh, figure out what happened. Because uh, with the gun, you hear it rattling around, you know something happened. Um, and I believe what it did is since the air has to go somewhere, <laughs> it uh, made it out the uh, rear and blew out at least one of the firing pins, maybe both of them. So we're going to find out real quick. Okay. The whole teardown doesn't take but a minute, so I'm just gonna kind of do it while you're here. Then we're gonna tear into the air cartridge while you're watching. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion. I know what happened. I haven't seen it happen before, but uh, really that cartridge is so simple inside. There's only one real failure point, and uh, that you could have spring fatigue after a matter of years, but uh, I'm guessing human error, and uh, that's what we're going to find out in just a bit, as if it was human error. Well, I tell you what, that screw is really tight on that hex there. I think I'm going to take a second more than I thought I was going to take. <laughs> yeah, that is holding on. Let's me know I got the right size. Okay, so I think that's all the screws. So so I don't drop anything out of the gun. Let's go nice and easy on this. Okay, so what you're looking at here is one firing pin is fine. One firing pin has been blown out the back. What you see there is the firing pin and the springs hidden down inside there. It knocked the uh, springs loose on the uh, piece that uh, cycles it from the first to the second as well, because I remember on the video he still tried to fire, but uh, this one wasn't being engaged at that point. So. One good firing pin, one bad firing pin. So I'm going to change this aspect just a little bit and see, there we go. Or maybe I just move this hair, try to stay out of the way of the video. About the only way you can get these cartridges loose is in a lathe like this. They're on there really tight. Okay. It doesn't seem like much, but if you're not using a lathe, like if you're using two pair of vice grips, you tear this thing apart. But again, I have a sneaky suspicion of what I'm going to see, and I'll tell you what I think I'm going to see. I think what I'm going to see is the inside pieces, two pieces of stainless steel and a spring. And I think somebody didn't screw them together right. I think I'm right. So what we got here is this piece is the front. This piece is the back and the springs there. When uh, you hit the burst disc, this thing is right there by the back and it creates a vacuum that pulls this back, which collapses the spring down and opens the front, all the air rushes out. So since no air at all went out, I kind of figured what happened was this. Somebody probably at the manufacturing level took this, screwed it in about hand tight, which you can do easy enough, and didn't go back and actually tighten it up. So maybe it was good for a few rounds, but then it popped loose. I don't know if they use Loctite on it or not. The few that I've taken apart have been very, very tight. I believe what happened is this one was just hand tight and never got tightened. So the failure point was the cartridge, but it also damaged the firing pin. So we'll be getting a uh, new Defender and a couple new air cartridges off to Toxic Matrix today. Hope you all have a good day. Take care.